Hi everyone, this is the first video where I reveal my voice and for a very important reason. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mono DM30 RGB, a condenser microphone designed for gaming, streaming, podcasting, and even for simple online meetings. I've been using this microphone for a while now and it's pretty cool. It comes in different colors including pink, purple, black, and white. And I got the white one of course because it matches nicely with my setup. It is a USB-C plug and play microphone that comes with a heavy metal stand that can be rotated up to 300 degrees and a USB adapter that can be switched from Type-C to Type-A. It also has a knob with three main functions, mute button, gain control adjustment, and headphone volume. You can attach this to a boom arm if you have one, but since I don't really have one with me right now, Let's just resort with the stand it comes with. At the bottom of the mic, it has a headphone jack for real-time monitoring, the Type-C connector which I really like because it is located at the bottom so it's kind of hidden as you use the mic. And it also has the RGB button. There is an RGB lighting ring with 9 customizable modes, red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, purple, RGB, loop, and you can also turn it on and off. The microphone has a cardioid polar pattern that picks up sound from the front and rejects noise from the sides and the back. So this is how it sounds like from the side of the mic. And as you can hear, it doesn't really pick up the sounds that well. It has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so it has a clear and sharp sound and it can capture every detail of your voice. I mean, you can hear my voice pretty well, so. It is compatible with Windows, Mac, PS4, PS5, and even your smartphone. So Mauna actually has a software that works with their microphones. Installing the Mono Link software allows you to change the settings to your liking. So simply type in Mono Link and select the first result that shows up. To acquire the proper mic settings, select the DM30 RGB. You can use the standard mode if you're new to all these. Then you can switch to the advanced mode after you're more familiar with the terms and options. So in the advanced mode, there are actually two options added the compressor and the limiter so i think the compressor is used to reduce the loud parts and boost the quiet parts more while the limiter is designed to catch the peaks to prevent it from like popping and peeking out you know so i tested the microphone sound quality and performance in different scenarios gaming asmr podcast and online meetings If you guys want to use the mic while gaming, of course, this is how it sounds like at this length, where I'm about like two of these, basically. But I can go closer, obviously. So this is how it sounds like, like as I'm gaming, for example, I'm gaming. Yeah, for gaming. You can set the gain higher, like set it higher so the gain is now higher and um, some keyboard sounds at the back you can hear it the spacebar obviously when you're gaming you're gonna be having lots of keyboard sounds so this is how it sounds like again
from this level it's just like one hand away from me and this is how it sounds like it's pretty far actually and I think it picks up the noise well because I can monitor it here but the gain is right now it's 81 but let's try to maximize it so the gain this is the gain and maximum so this is how it picks up if you want to record some podcasts and let's put it back to 80 and I'm going to put this little chair to elevate it then you could keep it closer to your mouth like this and you can see the difference guys how it's better when you you have the mic closer and this is the gain at 80 so let's try to increase the gain a bit this is the gain at 100 and i'm pretty close to the mic with like five four inches away from it and i did have some settings right here in advanced and i'll make sure to put it by the end of the video so yeah this is the mic test and let's try some popping sounds peter piper picked a pack of pickled peppers a pack of pickled peppers peter piper picked if peter piper picked a pack of pickled peppers where's the pack of pickled peppers peter piper picked and if you adjust the gain and increase it up till 100 percent this is how it sounds like and it sounds really good up close because you can really hear the fine details um yeah if you do have a boom arm or something that could elevate the mic it would be better because it really captures the voice quite well Okay, so this is how it sounds like an online meeting setup. And currently the mic is elevated with the, um, the gain at 80. And with my loud laptop fan running in the background. So feel free to critique the sound quality of this mic during online meetings like this, Google Meet, Zoom, and other on meeting platforms. So to give my comments on the gaming performance of the microphone, first of all, I think the microphone is able to pick up the sound of my voice well, despite the keyboard clicks in the background. If you don't want any other external noise, you can tweak your settings um, in the monolink software and you could also change it when you edit the video if you're like filming for a gaming video during online meetings it wouldn't be that noticeable that you have a mic since it is an online meeting so it's live and not recorded but it surely did increase the sound quality of my voice there could be too much noise reduction when you attend online meetings so that's something you can't really control and you can't really tweak that in the mic settings in conclusion i think the mono dm30 rgb is a great microphone for anyone who is looking for a budget-friendly easy to use and versatile microphone or anyone starting out streaming or posting on youtube and wants high quality audio on their devices. I think it brings out the best quality for a budget friendly microphone. I have been using this microphone all throughout this video and here are my microphone settings from the Mono Link software. That's my review and testing of the microphone. So you can comment down what you guys think in the comment sections i have posted on my instagram stories but i also want to thank you guys here so thank you so much for 4k subscribers it really means a lot to me thank you guys for the love and support always and if you want to see some updates you can follow me on ig like some announcements on new videos and yeah just 
really thank you so much very thankful for all of you guys for all your love and support and for watching all these videos and i'll see you next time have a great day